Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial series I'm going to be teaching you how to create a mailing system. Now after the mailing system I'm going to be teaching you how to make windows because I need to actually show you how to take damage using mailing as well and at the moment I will really set it, set it up so it can take damage for the windows. And um, after that I'll be teaching the windows then the bullets and then the pause menu. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your Rayshoot script like so and we want to define the variables we need for our melee attack system first one's going to be for attack timer it's going to be equals to a float and it's going to be zero the second one's going to be for attack cooler going to be a type float it's going to be equals to one because I want the player to wait one second before we can hit the melee attack button again now inside the update function let's create an if statement open bracket make that one more time if statement open bracket close bracket there we go <coughs> first one's going to just say if attack timer is greater than zero then attack timer minus equals time dot delta time you should be so used to this that just basically counts down the timer again it makes it go back to zero and we want to make sure we can't surpass zero so we're going to say attack timer if it's less than zero then obviously we set it back to zero Alright, that's that part done. Now scroll all the way to the bottom of the script and we want to make a new function for the attack system. We're going to say function, and I spelled that wrong, attack, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, closing curly brace, and inside here we're going to create a ray cost. Now the ray cost is going to be used for taking, checking what's in front of us and if we can take damage from it using the melee system. So we're going to say for hit attack, it's going to be a type ray cost hit. Next, I want to tell Unity what direction I'm going to be making the ray. So for direction, yeah, direction should be all right. No, direction attack. It's going to be a type vector 3. It's going to be equals to transform. So our transform, transform with a capital T. Transform direction. Open bracket, close bracket, vector 3. Dot forward. And closing semicolon. Save that. Now next, we want to display the ray so we can see in our scene view. Uh, scene view. So debug dot draw ray. Open bracket, close bracket, and closing semicolon. And the first one's going to be from the transform dot position. Then the direction it's facing direction attack times the range which we have made already so we can use that again that was from the bullet form by the way um, and the color of the line dot red will be alright for me save this now let's start creating the extra ray cost so we're gonna say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace we're going to say if physics dot ray cost open bracket close bracket transform dot position comma direction attack comma hit attack comma range 
Okay, that's that done. Now we're going to say if our Raycast hits something with the following tag or whatnot, do something. No, actually, I'm not going to do this part yet because I will need to teach you the window part for this. So we'll leave this out. And um, for now, that should be okay. But before we do anything, let's just add the animation. So I'm going to say game object dot find open bracket close bracket speech marks and I'm gonna say find the object that has animation so it's called animation so you put your object name there dot animation dot play open bracket close bracket close in semicolon speech marks and the animation I want to play is called smack so that's my attack animation save this go all the way to the top underneath your if statement that checks when we press the shoot button we want, make, we want to make a new if statement now I've got some things added on so I'm going to find a new space before the closing curly brace for the whole update function let's make it there <clears throat> so I'm going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace and over here I'm going to say if our input dot get key sorry no allow get key dot get mouse button open bracket close bracket equals to one then we want to attack then I'm just going to call it attack function open bracket close bracket Close inside my colon, and then I'm going to set the attack timer to attack cooler. Now this won't work yet because we're missing something. Right on top of this if statement, we want another one saying open bracket closing curly brace, and inside this we're going to say if attack timer is equals equals to zero. So if our attack timer is greater than zero, we can't attack, but as soon as it resets back to zero, we can start hitting it again, okay? So let's save this and let's see what happens in Unity. Okay, so far no errors, great. So if I go in here and I press the asset, the right key mouse button, and it works. He attacks. He has to wait one second for he can spam it. Oh no, he can't. It's not working for some reason. Hold on. Um, where is the script again? Okay, so let's see if the timer goes up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he has to wait. Uh, it's because my same key is doing something else. Let me just turn that off for a second. Oh, that's okay. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Yep, okay. So you have to wait one second before you can hit it again. So yeah, the melee system works and it's doing no damage yet because I need to make the windows so we can start breaking them using melee attacks as well. And that's when I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, that's how you create a melee attack system. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.